Hello everyone, it's me Sid. We all know it's the era of AIs and Eris Forms, a WordPress plugin too, has jumped on the bandwagon and has given us WordPress Forms with ChatGPT. I'm actually quite excited about this one because at first glance I was like, okay, but then I started thinking. And then I realized the possibilities with this are endless. There's a whole new realm and I can't tell you much, but I can show you. So let's jump right into it. All right, so this right here is the plugin AI Contact Form and it's free, at least the plugin is. To use this, you will need OpenAI's premium API, which can be generated from their website. Regardless, this thing is currently available on their GitHub. You need to download this zip file right here. I'm going to leave this link down below in the description. Or, or if this video is out and if it's available within wordpress.org, you can download it from there as well. So actually, it turns out you don't need to do that anymore. You can simply go into the add-on page within Everest Forms and you can directly install the AI contact form plugin. So once you so once you download that zip file, install it normally like you would. So once it's installed, you can go into Everest Forms, Settings, and and you will see the Open AI's tab right here. So right here, you need to put in your Open API's key. And once that's been put, you can simply click on Save Changes. All right, so now we're ready to integrate AI into our forms. Uh, you can use it to implement the chatbot on your website, send out AI-generated emails as per the user's queries, so you know they will no longer get a generic mail, and get an AI-generated entry response in the backend for yourself to get quick summaries of the user's queries or use it however you wish with personalized prompt. Honestly, the possibilities with the plugin are endless. All you need is powerful prompts to tell ChatGPT exactly what you want it to respond with. So let's see how it works. All right, so let's get started first with the chatbot. I'm going to go here and I'm going to add a new form. So let's start from the scratch. I'm going to call it AI form. All right, so let me go ahead and change the layout. Bam. All right, so for this one, what you need to do is you need to use the single line text and you also need to use the AI field. Now what you need to do is you need to map this field into the AI field and before that let's enable chatbot on this field, field mapping. So you can basically choose the single line text and from here I'm going to go ahead and type in, uh, hmm, let me think, confused, ask chat GPT. Alright so let me save this. Alright so this is how the form is going to look. So say people are confused with something, right? So they can simply go right here and they can ask, hey, what is a two plus two? I mean, you know, people will not be searching for this, but regardless, they can search anything and they can get answers. Super simple, right? So what you can do is you can use this form as a part of your sidebar. And whenever people are reading your articles, etc., they can simply go ahead. They can simply ask stuff to ChatGPT and they'll get their answers without having to leave your website. So that's the first use case of the chatbot. Now the second and third ones, they are quite interesting. So the second one, let's go. All right, so the next one is going to be AI generated email response. Now this one's pretty fun. So what I have here is a job application. So right, so whenever someone fills out the form, I want I want AI to write write out a message, especially for that person, for the position they're applying to, for their first name, last name, and you can do this with basically anything else. Think about it this way, you have a support form and whenever someone fills that out, you want to send an instantaneous reply to them, but you don't want the message to be the same generic support form. Like you don't want the message to be the same generic, we'll reach out to you soon, thank you for reaching out. You don't want just that, you want their you want there to be something a little bit more that is specifically written for the person that's reaching out to you right so basically what chat gpt can do is it can read the message and chat gpt can basically construct a reply that is proper and just so it looks like an actual human is typing it out so uh but right now let's do it for job application so basically i have all the fields ready right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into settings email and from here what I can do is I can add a new email and that will be for reply email. Okay, so I can do that. All right, so to address, I want this mail to be sent to whatever the user fills out in the email field. Now, if you want the reply to come elsewhere, then you can do this email subject. I'm gonna say thank you for reaching out. And what I can do is I can go right here and I can use the first name and bam all right so i can do that now for ai generated emails you can simply click on enable email prompt 
I can go right here and I already have a prompt ready. Alright, so it says compose a brief email to first name and last name, extending a professional yet warm thank you for applying to the company for the position and ensure the email is signed by Sid, Theme Girl Marketing, start directly with the message content omitting the subject because we already have the subject. So here where the fields are supposed to be, I'm going to use field mapping and I'm going to use first name right there. Right, and let's use the last name right there. Extending a professional yet warm thank you for applying to the company for the position, which is what position are you applying for? Right there. All right, once that is done, it will ensure the email is signed by Sid. Theme Grid Marketing start directly with the message content omitting the subject. Alright, so now the next important step is to go down here in the email message and you're going to put in AI email response. Alright, so this will ensure whatever message Chad GPT sends back will be sent in the message. So yeah, and we are, we're also using the all fields smart tag so that people can see what they filled out in the form. So yeah, um, so yeah, that's done. So once I save this, so whenever someone fills out a form, they're going to get a response back in their email. Now here I'm using localhost so I cannot send out email, but I will pop up a screenshot of what the email looks like right here. So there you go. So there you go. That's how the email looks. It's pretty handy. You can basically use this with everything. All right, so there you go. You can use this feature to send out unique messages to people, to whoever fills out the form. All right, so the third use case is going to be AI-generated entry response, which will show only on the back end. So let me show you how that works. First things first, let me add a paragraph text right there. I'm going to call it, what do you think of our products, right? Let me save that. Okay, so, so now what I need to do is I need to go down and I need to get this AI field right there. And when I'm using this AI field, I need to make sure that enable chatbot option is not checked and make sure that the field type is hidden so people won't see what the AI has to say. So simply I can go right here and I can paste uh, the prompt. It says provide basic analysis of the user's tone as good or bad depending on the field which is going to be what do you think of our products. So what AI is going to do is in the back end where you can view the entries so it's going to show you what the user thinks of your product as good or bad. So whenever you are filtering out the entries, you can only filter out the good entries and the bad entries. And there's a whole lot of other uses for this. Um, let me show you how that works though. All right, so right here, all right, so let me fill it out real quick. All right, satisfied, satisfied, very satisfied. Five stars, definitely. What do you think of our product? I think your products are very amazing. I really enjoy using them my my two-year-old son loves them as well all right don't have a son but he sure does love my product whatever that is submit so there you go the form has been submitted and now let's go over to our entries so now let's go over to our entries right here you can see one entry and it, when we view it what's going to happen is so what's going to happen here is definitely what do you think of our product? I think your products are amazing, blah, blah, blah. This is a positive response and AI says good. All right, so now whenever you try to export these entries right here, so you can basically filter out good or positive reviews and negative reviews. And uh, there's a whole bunch of other, and there's a whole bunch of other use cases as well. Just like um, there's this one that I like where you can have your own point system where people will Take a few boxes, right? So you'll ask them. Maybe it's a job application. You'll ask them, um, "Do you know? Do you know about WordPress?" Right? If they know about WordPress and you're hiring them in a WordPress development company, if they know about WordPress, that's a point, right? That's one point. Second point is going to be, "Do you have prior experience in?" Um, how many years of prior experience do you have in PHP development or something? And if they say one, one to three, that's one point. Three to four, that's two points five plus that's three points so you can have your own point system and you can give out this prompt to chat gpt and i think this is very dependent on your prompt as well you need to, you, you just need to be creative you need to be very creative with your prompts and and the clearer your prompt is 
and the clearer your prompt is, the better your responses will be. So that's how you can use this new feature within Everest Forms, the AI contact form. Honestly, I love this new extension within Everest Forms. This is really fun to use. It's like you're programming, but you're not. So you're just simply typing out in a natural language and the AI just understands it. Honestly, I love it. I love it very much. So yeah, that's about it. All right, so what I'll also do is I'll link down below this documentation for AI contact form where it's going to show you how to set up the open open ai's api etc so yeah uh there's a lot of other stuffs in here as well so make sure to check it out so that's about it for this video if you guys did enjoy it make sure to drop a like subscribe do all that good stuff so i'm sid and i'll see you whenever i'll see you peace